Alrighty, welcome back to DIY Builds in Texas. My name is Phil, your host, and I'm featuring another build today, and I have two more coming up very, very soon, so thank you for joining me today. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much for being one of my loyal subscribers. I try to put out a video at least once a week, and I have um, quite a few builds that are back-to-back, Coming up, I have a Taylor Swift boombox I'm working on. It should be done rather quickly. And I have an Air Force boombox I'm going to do. This one here I've been working on for a little while, so I thought I'd feature it today. Since I promised you guys a video at least once a week. So this one here, somebody came to me and said, listen, I was in the school band, and these are my school colors. And I would like a little box I could put next to my bed. They normally listen to podcasting and music at a really low level. So this one, I didn't put a really big amplifier in. But uh, also, I had taken a box I built for them previously, and I kind of took the parts out of that one and rebuilt it uh, using the existing parts, but I made it bigger and better. So without further ado, here it is right here. Uh, the school colors, obviously, were black and gold. So I took the existing boss speakers that were in the other radio that I built for them and I painted the, the grills gold as well as the handle and of course the, the latch as you can see there, of course class of 85. Now what we had planned on doing back here, I had planned on putting a, a clarinet on here and the words got clarinet but they haven't come in yet but that's also going to be part of this build and as you can see of course we've got the voltage gauge and everything surrounded by gold. I even did the hinge on this side right here in gold. I didn't do the uh, the battery clamp here because the pins were already gold. But of course this is where you clamp on the battery and the antenna. And of course we put uh, gold switches right there. And of course this one has the AMF, the, not AMF, the FM radio with Bluetooth and it's already set up for Bluetooth. And this was a fun build. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys the inside because they pretty much all look the same on the inside. Now, this one does have a lead acid battery because the other one had a lead acid battery, so I didn't feel the need to spend the money on another battery and charger when this person already has a charger for lead acid battery. So the battery charger is just going to clamp right there for the lead acid battery. It does make it a little heavier, but this one's not going to be moved very often. This one's designed to sit next to the bed. So, um, like I said, this one's not real loud. Again, I've got a small amplifier on it. Uh, for two reasons. One, it was a bedside radio. The other reason is these are not the most high-end speakers, and I really didn't want to put too powerful an amplifier on here and make the speaker sound distorted. So this one's about just the right volume. So they are good speakers, though. They're three-way speakers. They're boss. I mean, they'll do the job. They look really cool, too, with the, uh, the gold paint on there. And like I said before, you guys want to paint plastic, it, it's not difficult, but you do have to follow some steps. And I've shown you on my other videos how to paint plastic. And again, just a quick, you know, going over, take you a Scotch-Brite pad and make sure you scuff up the surface. And if you can, get you a can of air and uh, blow it all off. Or like me, I couldn't find any more air, so I went and got me a cheap paintbrush. And just sit here and uh, get all the dust off it. It's a great way to keep the dust off your projects as well. It's a lot cheaper than all the air there. And it works really, really well. And I'm pleased with it. And uh, let's fire this thing up and uh, see how it sounds. This is a song from the 80s, something you may not be familiar with. It's a song called Tell Me What You Want by a group called Zebra. I've been wasting my time Oh I don't know
video. Thought you guys might get a kick out of seeing this one. Uh, this one's not a real expensive build. Let me turn this noise off there. Uh, this one here is probably about $120, $130 if you'd like to build one. And these little FM radio units are fantastic, I tell you. They work really good. Got the FM tuner built in. Now, if you guys don't know how to hook one of these up, they do not come with instructions. But I did do a video on how to hook these FM radio units up. So if you want to search my channel, you'll find that video there. And you'll also find a video of how to choose the right antenna for these plastic boxes. And I just love these plastic ammunition boxes. They're a great base. You can decorate them any way you want, any kind of color combination that you want. Like I said, right now I'm doing a Taylor Swift box for a guy, and it's going to have, uh, this is going to be purple, everything's going to be purple. If you have a Taylor Swift theme, I'm doing an Air Force box, just the opposite, everything's going to be blue, the box is going to be gray, and it's going to have some different features on it. So you can really just have a lot of fun with these. And the imagination is your only limitation. Boy, that's kind of corny, isn't it? Anyway, guys, I'll uh, tell you what. Let me see if I can get Duke over here real quick. We're going to have a visit with Duke. Everybody always asks about Duke. So give me just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. I'm back. Here's Sir Duke. Let me uh, scream back a little bit here. You can see better on camera. And he's not too happy right now. I just woke him up from a nap. So he's <laughs> he's not doing too good. But this is Duke. This is your first time seeing my video. Duke is uh, about eight years old. And I had him since he was a baby. He was born to a stray, and he's in a lot of my videos. If you watch my channel, you'll see Duke all over the place. I'm actually thinking about making some t-shirts with Duke's picture on it, but I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet. But Duke is a cool cat, loves the camera, aren't you, Duke? Yeah. He's my buddy. He's like my shadow. He follows me around my home, and uh, he sleeps in my bed next to me at night. And he's a real chow hound, too. Whenever there's food put out... It's time for Duke to show up. And he'll let you know if you didn't feed him either. He'll come around meowing at you. So anyway, everybody, thanks for watching my channel. Uh, I do have a Facebook page where you can ask me some questions. Or if you're a builder yourself, or you're just a radio fanatic, or if you would like me to make you a radio. Or we have some other guys on the, my, my uh, Facebook page that can also build you a radio. So right here at the bottom of the screen here, it's going to give you the address. It's I Love All Things Radio on Facebook. That's I Love All Things Radio. Uh, I can't see the camera, but it looks like Dick Duke's head's probably right in the shot. So anyway, everybody, thanks for watching my channel. More videos to come real soon. I said I got several projects going on right now. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if there's any themes you want to see or anything you might want to see me make. Or if you have a question about something that you see me do, I'll be happy to answer that question. I might even make a video about it to try to answer your question the best way I can. I love helping other people out. Oh, there goes Duke. So just let, let me know if there's anything I can help you with, uh, tools, techniques. Or um, I've even got a video on drills and saws. So check out my channel, and uh, just for kicks here, I want to show you guys, uh, these are the speakers that I use in my projects, these are 4-inch kickers, and uh, not the one I just did, that was obviously the uh, Boss speakers, but this is what I normally use, these are kicker 4-inch speakers, they're very inexpensive, but they give you a really, really great sound, and I think I might do a video on amplifiers next time, show you guys the different amps that I use, but these are the speakers that I use, they work fantastic. And they're very paintable, and you can design it any kind of way that you like. So, anyway, guys, from my cluttered workshop here, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.